Healthy Kitchen 101. Hello and welcome to today's video on Healthy Kitchen 101. I'm Matthew and today we are going to take a look at the Hamilton Beach Waffle Maker with the serial number of 26031. Okay, so according to the box here, we have uh, some a removable waffle plates that is safe to go into the dishwasher. Um, we also have a uh, safety handle at the top, uh, stainless steel housing, which we've already seen uh, on the front frontal side of the box. Um, st some standard uh, temperature control and uh, indicator lights to tell you when the uh, machine is ready to be used. And uh, of course, uh, the Hamilton Beach waffle maker is flippable, so uh, your waffle are going to come out more even and more well cooked. Now we're going to cut open the box. Okay, with the ceiling cut, let's see what's inside. So right off the bat, we got uh, a black and white paperwork with uh, the instruction manual. So we got a plastic tray don't know what this actually does, and I'm just going to let someone figure it out later. And there's the waffle maker. So I see a uh, power cord, and let's take off this uh, this foam lock, get a side profile, and uh, just about it. The waffle plates are left to one side. It, strangely, it doesn't have any padding whatsoever, so it's a little bit of a concern. I'm just going to look at here. Let me take off this uh, plastic bag here and uh, we'll go through the rest of this installation. Now this is actually the back side of the waffle maker, so I'm just so I'm going to um, turn it to the right side. Immediately we get a close view of the stainless steel housing. Uh, the control panel area is made from uh, plastic, as well as the dial. You can see the status lights over here. Um, I'm just going to open up the waffle maker, and you can see the exposed heating coil. Um, within the, uh, the waffle maker. And I'm going to install the, uh, the ceramic waffle plates. It's coated with a very silky smooth non-stick coating. So we got a locking protrusions here. So make sure that you align these two protrusions with the two uh, tiny um, holes within the machine. And here you can see a locking mechanism. It will click when the waffle plates are in position. Do the same thing with the, uh, with the top waffle plate. Fit it in and lock it into position. Make sure that everything's solid. Close it down. Now you can turn it back and forth. The handle can be folded up for easier storage, and this plastic tray is used to protect the rest of the machine from drippings. Okay, now I'm going to plug in the uh, machine. 
going to unravel the uh, cord here. It's fairly short, it's about like half feet or something. So immediately after I plug in, uh, the uh, power button turns on. The ready button is not uh, lit just yet. So I'm just gonna turn the temperature dial and wait until the machine reaches the correct temperature. And when it does, the ready button is going to light up. After a couple of minutes, uh, the ready button is now on. And uh, as I can feel it, the heat is wafting up from the stainless steel housing and I'm, now I'm going to use a thermometer to see just how hot the housing is. So we get a peak temperature measurement around 140 to 145 degrees, which is still quite hot. There is a very strange plastic-like smell that's coming off of the waffle maker. It's quite disturbing, really. As I open up, the heat immediately rises up into my face. They feel really, really hot. And if I was to measure the plate, the numbers immediately rise. So the internal temperature of the waffle maker is well above 200 degrees, uh, around 210. It's good enough for a waffle. And that's it for today's unboxing video. Um, we're going to have a different video where we actually test out this waffle maker and see how it really performs uh, in real life. So um, thank you for your time and uh, we'll see you again later.